Welcome back. Thank you so much for staying with us. You're watching KTN News Desk. Let's now continue with our coverage. And a self-styled lobby group, the Operation Linda Ugatuzi, says it will take the government to court for failure to release the bulk of the health care budget to the counties. Group leader Professor Fred Ogola has said it was ironical to have 65% of the health care budget retained at the national level while the health functions have been devolved. Professor Ogola challenged President William Ruto to be sincere with Kenyans whether his administration was just offering lip service as, as far as devolution was concerned and ensure that resources followed devolved functions. In the budget, the national government has put 35% of the health budget to the counties, yet healthcare is 100% devolved. And we are now um, rather joined live by Professor, via phone by Professor Fred Ogola, um, who is the group uh, lobby head, a uh, group leader. Let's now hear what he has to say in this regard. Good afternoon to you, um, Fred. Ain't your idea Prim, uh, primitive, rather, noting that there are steps before this bill becomes law? Yeah, uh, thank you very much, uh, Newsroom. Um, yesterday we issued a statement in CIA mm -hmm. because we've done research and found that, that the government has, out of the budget allocated, the government is only releasing 30% to the county, yet healthcare is 100% uh, uh, devolved. And uh, you have to know also a few things here that the Minister of Health is the second most corrupt ministry, according to the ESCC report. Mm -hmm. And uh, you remember that uh, the issue of procurement of medicine, medical supplies have remained at the national level with, with KEMSA, yet the corruption in KEMSA is inhibiting the possibility of medicine reaching the ground. I was in CIA uh, referral hospital. Uh, it was impossible to get Panadol in a referral hospital. Uh, uh, just because money has remained at the at the high level, and also if you look at the fact that um, the the ministry the the, the the ministry of health holding 65 percent, we want them to explain to Kenyans what are the budget line of those things. Uh, why are they not giving money to counties? So you mm -hmm. find that they devolve the okay. positions of CEC health. They did not devolve resources. They didn't devolve the services. They, they are not doctors. The main doctors are in Nairobi, in the, the, in the, the referral hospitals. Sorry. The county referral hospitals do not have the equivalent of human resource to, if you, if you, to be equal to the kind of services they should offer as a referral hospital. Even the people want to learn about nursing, doctors, they don't have medical practitioners in the county referral hospital that can help them to build the capacity for the human resource for the counties. So we are finding that it is impossible for us to achieve the universal health coverage, UHC, under the fact that the government keeps most of the money and only sends the money they want to send. And I think the constitution is very clear that the health care is 100% devolved, so we want to look for compliance. And we gave the government 14 days ultimatum from yesterday. After 14 days, we are doing a petition already with lawyers, and we are going to move to court if the Minister of Health does not do that, we are now drafting letters to write to them officially to notify them about our ultimatum, and those letters will also be shared with you guys in the media. Yeah, and so um, the 14 days ultimatum, um, maybe if the government uh, does not honor this, what's the end game in this? There are also cases in court. Are you going to join these uh, uh, people in court as interested parties, or you want to go it all alone? You see, every, um, since the cases in court, some of them are not approaching it from the point of view we are approaching it. We are approaching it from the point of view of mm -hmm. corruption because the 60% of the money remaining at the, at the national level, we cannot see proper accountability with it. At the same time, we are seeing that the government is breaking the law. It's not about people writing impressed, people requesting the government and pleading. Uh, why should they? Council of Governors have a meeting with the government to discuss about finance allocation. It's a law. You should be able to disperse the funds. So we are seeing so many things and we are finding our case to be a standalone case because it has got uh, more research, if you like, 
I'm an economist. I'm, I know about health economics. So I understand it from very many angles, but we wouldn't mind if the judges say they need to co-join them. But see, we see that our approaches are very different from the approach. For example, the budget is legal because the budget does not comply to the, to the devolution because devolution is in the 2010 constitution. So we are, some people are looking at the budget just by looking at which item, what percentage, but we are looking at it from the legal perspective economic perspective, but also the issue of the manifesto of the, the big dream, the, tra- the vision 2030, the, the, the whole vision about the universal health coverage. Uh, it has got many things that are not right and we want Kenyans to know, and I think that's why we need to pre- present these things to go in the public so that it becomes very clear. Professor Fred, thank you so much for making time for us. Also, the political parties dispute